Hi, it's Adam from Buzzy. And as usual, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to give you an update about what we've been doing with our plugin for Figma. Um, and it's really about how do we allow you to have a Figma design and very quickly turn it into actual real live working web app or native app. Um, have a look at this address. You'll get access to our plugin and all our example templates. Um, the first bit I wanted to give you a quick update on is uh, what we've been doing with the React Native side of things. So you've probably seen how easily we can publish from a Figma design to a, a responsive web app. And now we've added in the capability, we currently enclose beta um, with that React Native, which is a true native application. So I thought I'd give you a quick, quick look at that. Um, before I do that, um, this is your typical Figma file. So we've got this recipe application. Um, I won't go through this, but you can actually go and publish this application and turn it into a live app. You can point your, your phone at the screen over there and, and get access to that application. And people can actually use that. Um, so if we have a look at, um, this is a responsive web app. So this is your, you know, your responsive web app um, over here. Uh, we could go through to a particular recipe if we went down over here and I'm going to put a review in. Wow. And I'll give it, I'll give it five ratings. So this is not just a, a, a prototype that you can't use. You can actually give this to users. They can put real data in. You can interact with it, capture data um, and so on. Now let's have a look at this running inside the native app. Uh, we'll have a look at this over here. This is that same application that's been generated for um, using a native application. Um, I'm just going to move this out the way, move my screen over there, out the way. And if we scroll down over here a bit, uh, we'll see there is that review that we just did, which was wow. So that's it. So no extra work to create a native application. And that's truly revolutionary. So we super excited about that. Um, have a look on our website and get on the uh, private beta for that one. Um, we've been hard at work in the Figma community. And just this last week, we just released the first version of our application in the community. So if you go to the at Buzzy page on the Figma website, not only will you see a whole bunch of samples, but you'll also see um, the plugin. You can go and install that. Um, let's have a look at um, some of those examples. So that was the, the recipe one. Um, and let's have a look um, at what some other people have been doing. So this was actually put together by a freelancer, a contractor, um, as part of our beta testing. Um, they went and created a full working, healthy people application. You can have um, add workouts, meal plans, logs, user reviews, you know, comment threads, full CRUD capability as a working application. So you can take that prototype to the next level. Let's have a look at that in action. I'm just going to go back here um, and we're going to have a look at that screen. Just by the way, before I do that, that last application that we looked at, we give you the full database at the back end and you can integrate this with third party APIs. Um, so again, you're getting a full working application. It's not just a, a, um, a prototype that you can't enter data. So this is that health application. Um, let's have a look at that. Uh, we'll, we'll go into it. We can see all the different workouts over here. Um, so we can go into a workout. Um, you can do things like um, you could submit a log. Um, so over here we did 100 push-ups before. Um, let's just put this date in. And again, this is a full application. And you can configure these fields, how they work and how they default and everything from within the Figma plugin. So I'll just say I only did five minutes today and I did 50 push-ups, um, push-ups, uh, and I want to submit that log. And again, that's a working application. So we're seeing the data in here, which is a real life data. Again, you get full access to that database. So that's super cool. And again, to be able to render that as a native application with things like offline capability, geolocation, all that capability that you'd want to be able to get from a native app, you can really take things to the next level. Again, all with no coding, all with the, the Buzzy plugin. So if we had a look at that, um, that healthy application, that health app, uh, this is it. So this is it in Figma. Um, all the designs are marked up, all your screens are marked up, all the different forms and components. Um, so you're doing this in a no coding way. So if you go through and you, um, let's say you, you, you put the home, that there's the home screen, you can define things like the repeating items and the components underneath that, and you can go and publish that. Um, hold your phone up to this QR code, go over and play with the actual live application and see it at work. Um, 
We've also been hard at work uh, making it easy for you to be able to understand how this works. So we've put a really cool getting started guide together. Um, there's a Figma file with a whole series of tutorials um, that go through and explain to you how to go and how easy it is to be able to mark up your application and define it. Um, so again, if we, if we had a look at that, um, that application, um, let's have a look over here. Um, let's have a look. Um, so here's our getting started guide. Um, we've got, um, this is again, this is available from the community. We've got everything from the Hello World example through to here. And again, you'll just run the Buzzy plugin. You can publish those as apps, but we'll try and get you to actually build this application from start to finish, which is pretty cool. So thanks heaps for, for watching today. Um, you know, it's really easy to get started. Um, go to our website, go to figma.com forward slash at Buzzy. Um, grab some of the templates. There's more there. There's more coming. Again, super excited. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you some of the cool apps that you can create with Buzzy and Figma.